Ow, 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 ow! Ow! What part of ow did you not understand? You didn't say stop. Ow is the equivalent of stop, isn't it? Clearly. Clearly, you have to be more specific. Mind you, mind Mom? You, mind you. Yes, Ben? Shall I start putting up these balloons? Yeah, all right. But no inhaling the helium. Don't inhale the what? Ben. Ben. It's an no, inert gas no, tire. I definitely said left. I meant my left. Well, you didn't say my left. Well, why would I say left from someone else's perspective? That'd be madness. Why isn't Karen helping? Oh, yeah, she's installed in her bedroom. I'm going to text her and get her down. That's what I hate about texting. He's destroying the ancient craft of shouting up the stairs. Is it, is it, what is this? That's mulled wine. It's um. great for winter parties and it fills the house with this lovely smell. Yeah, and then you have to drink it. <laughs> ben, don't eat the cocktail okay, sausages. Okay. Don't put it uh, back. Uh, ah! Oh! He said right a bit. Yes, a bit. That was definitely a bit. A, a bit is far less than that. No, less than that would be a tad. <sighs> I think I've done my metatarsal. When I was young, people didn't have metatarsals, just bones. Why have we got to move this stupid thing anyway? Because we need to create space in the living room for people to circulate. Do you think it could do with a bit more decoration? Um. God, I know that. Um, well, I know that well as well. Look, it, it's festive and Christmassy. What is Christmassy about that? Looks like a loyalist estate. Well, look, I had some bunting left over from the Jubilee. It's feel good and 2012 y. 2012 y? Yes, it will revive the happy memories of the glorious summer of sports, the Olympics, Jessica Ennis, Mo Farah, Andy Murray, the Paralympics, everybody booing George Osborne. It makes you feel good just thinking about it. I've worked out the party games. Put Ben in charge of entertainment. Oh, God. Charades, Kim's game, 20 questions and British Bulldog. You can't play British Bulldog at a drinks party. Well, they have to put down their drinks, obviously. Karen, you do not have an opt-out. Just get down here and muck in. Can we not just leave this in here? Yeah, OK. Oh, no, no, hang on, cos people might want to circulate in here as well. No, take it upstairs. Karen! Oh, she comes. Karen, have you gone down? Left a bit. Left. Not there. Not there. Have you gone d Oh. Yes, I have. Right, Missy. Yeah. Party organiser. Yeah, I'm going to put it on my CV. You can't just make stuff up on your CV. Yes, you can. My mate Todd said he worked as a UN peace envoy. Morrison's never even checked it. Karen, can you stop texting me and... Hang... Oh. Oh, no. Hello, mate. There's another dropout. Yeah, yeah, I'm not bad, you. We've lost over half our guests to this winter vomiting lurgy. Maybe we should cancel, rather than fill our house with potential carriers. We are carriage. not cancelling. It's a vicious little bug. The deputy head threw up during assembly and pebble dashed half of year eight. This party is the chance for us to reach out to get to know our neighbours better. Well, you know the saying, good fences make good neighbours. Pete. Preferably topped with razor wire. Pete. And machine gun turrets. Pete. Can you go easy on the Grinch routine? We've all lived in this street for years, and yet most of us are on nodding terms at best. If you think about what happened to poor old Mr. Sanderson. Yeah, no, that, that was sad. He just lay there for days and nobody even knocked on his door or... You know, this is, this is a chance for us to reach out to some so of our... So who is coming, then? Oh, you know, just... Just a sort of neighbours. And Jane. Jane. You invited Jane. Yes, I did. Yes. But she can't come cos she's texted to say she's down with a lurgy. Oh, no. Really? Yeah, you might want to go for another take on that one. She sounded very low and I thought it was the right thing to do to invite her. Absolutely. Still, she can't make it. Shame. Have you done that sign for the toilet door warning people about Never. the dodgy door handle? Mind the... Yeah. See? Danger. And I also drew a funny picture as well. What is it? It's a toilet with teeth. <laughs> On the ball. Oh, On um, the ball. Jake. When the party starts, you will stay and be sociable, won't you? Oh, uh, I'm going out with my mates. But you will stay for a while, won't you? Yeah, obviously. How long's a while? Hour? Mm, I was thinking maybe more like 20 minutes. 50? 
That's still an hour, really, isn't it? 45. 30? No, 45. Oh, Mum, come on, I'm already missing the pre-lash. Pre-lash? Yeah, the pre-lash. You know, it's like the lash before the main lash. 40. 35. 38. Done. Come on. Yes, all right. Careful! Okay. It's like watching the Chuckle Brothers. Ow! Ow! You need to be more specific. Stop, then! Oh. The first of Mum's surprise guests, perhaps. Who will it be, I wonder? Robert Mugabe? Abu Hamza? Joey Barton? Oh. Hi, Mum. Hello, Peter. It's quite cold out here. Sorry. Come in. Come in. Hi, Jake. You are right, Grant? Well, we, um... We weren't expecting you. Well, I was just passing by and I thought I'd drop off the kids' presents. You're having a clear-out? We're having a party. Well, not really a party as such. It's more of a... more of a gathering. We, w we would have invited you, but it's a neighbours-only gathering. For neighbours, you know. So he's trying to promote a sense of community. A sense of community? Yeah, it's, um... It's 2012-y. Why don't you join us? No, thanks, really. I. Come on, it'll be fun. I've got food in the fridge that needs eating up. Oh, fair enough. Oh, come on. No, oh, really, she's got food in the fridge that needs eating It'd up. Be silly. I'm not a party person. Not a party person. And if it's neighbours only. You can be guest of honour. Come on in. Come on. Hello, Ben. Hi, Graham. Have you ever played British Bulldog? What's happened to your voice? So when we finally get this upstairs, where do you want us to put it? Oh, um, good qu Actually, we could put drinks on that. Yeah, no, sling it back in here. This is the best place to put it. I can think of a better place to put it. Led by the nose, you know, by the so-called, by the burgers of Brussels. And, and, and that, my friend, is why I am seriously considering voting UKIP, because you can say what you like about Nigel Farage, but he's a man who can survive plane crashes. Can David Cameron do that? Did you tell Dad that Norris was coming? Cameron is, is like a, do you know, it, like a, a it slipped my mind. Lapdog, lapdog well, I couldn't leave him out, could I? He's a neighbour. Anyway, Dad seems to be coping perfectly well. Because some Euro bureaucrat dictating the shape of my bananas is quite frankly bananas. And I've, I've said this so many times, haven't I, Mary? Yes. Yes, he has. Hey, everyone. This is Ray. Ray, here's your badge. Obviously, you know my dad. And have you met Norris? Yes, yes, I have. This is Mary. Mary, my wife Mary, Tatiana, next door neighbour, though she spends so much time in our kitchen, I'm thinking of charging her rent. <laughs> She's Russian, but uh, don't worry, she's not Mafia. If I was Mafia, I'd get someone to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> bang. Ah. Bang, bang, bang. Oh, big shot. Bang. Oh. Bang, 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 bang. Bang! <laughs> bang! <laughs> Chop ups, anyone? Yeah, top me up, topster in chief. This is Ben. How old is Ben? Twelve. Twelve? He's very, very, very big for his age, isn't he? Yes. Did you play rugby, Ben? They asked me not to. The parents signed a petition. Yeah, but there were a few injury issues. Right. Just good old-fashioned enthusiasm, really, but you know what it's like once lawyers get involved. Uh, Sue, so, can I, um... Can I have a word? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm, a bit, I'm a bit worried about Mum. Oh, really? Why? Well, she's talking to these people and she keeps laughing. Laughing? Yeah, you know, like, like she's a sociable person. No, you see, I don't like it. It's not natural. How much have you had to drink? 
I suppose she did start a few hours before everyone else. Let me see she doesn't normally drink. She's... Come on, loosen up. So she's shedding some inhibitions. No, look, she's being physically affectionate. This is so weird. I have to warn the children. Oh, no. See you later. Oh, small person alert. Hello there. Hello. I'm not stopping. She's very pretty. How old is she? Ten. So, little lady of the house. How's school? Is it fun? No, it's school. Karen. It's a pointless question. Karen. I don't mean to be rude, but I've seen your face somewhere. Oh, Ray used to be a TV weatherman. That's a long, long time ago. So, Raymondo, haven't seen you out and about. Didn't you have one of those breakdown thingies? Norris. It's OK, Mary, there's no stigma attached to mental illness these days. And, in fact, I believe it's quite in. And... Um... Are you better now? Oh, yes. Well, it's a process. Uh, I'm, I'm currently um, engaging with addressing the various issues I have with boundaries. Oh, that, that's nice. Jane, uh, Sue said you were uh, sick. Uh, yeah, I've had this tiny luck saying it's been... Hang on. There's a good false alarm. You look a bit rough. Are you sure you should be out? I was at home feeling awful, but then I thought, don't be so selfish, Jane. Sue was kind enough to invite you, so the least you can do is make a bit of an effort. And I reckon I'm probably not infectious now. God, it's hot in there, isn't it? Well, no, actually. It isn't. Honestly, it was terrible. One of those awful... Jane! Gosh! Are you sure you should be out? You just can't give in to these things. And besides, I think I'm through the worst now. Haven't thrown up for at least an hour. Uh, this is Jane, everyone, who hasn't thrown up for at least an hour. Would you like something to drink? Just water for me. Thanks. <laughs> oh, all right. Make it a white wine. What the hell? What she's got is the norovirus. It's not dangerous. That's why it's so infectious. Dangerous viruses kill too quickly, so they kill before they can spread. Evidence of this is the Spanish flu, which happened just after the First World War. People would like, be dying mid-sentence. They'd just be like, Oh, I'm so happy the First World War is over. Well, that's our Christmas ruined. We're all going to spend it on the toilet. I'm probably not infectious. Of course she's infectious. Look at her. Might as well just have lobbed a diseased corpse into the middle of the room. Don't be such a drama queen. I'm not getting lumbered with her. Hey? Every Christmas, I end up being trapped with her. Okay. I want you to promise me that I will not end up being trapped with her. OK, I promise you will not end up being trapped with What's her. What's writing, Sue? I mean it. There's a buyer, right? OK, that's 38 minutes, so I'm out of here. Can I come? Yo, Tomo. Oh, that's it. OK, bye, Tomo. Tomo? Tom Thompson? Yeah, why? Well, Tom Thompson leads a bit. Tom Thompson? Oh, no, he's not back on the scene again, is he? Yeah, why? Well, have you got a problem with him? Well, no, it's, it's, it's just that Tom has a history of being a bit... Well, a little bit... Stupid and reckless. Based on what? Based on the, the badger in the taxi, the toy gun outside Buckingham Palace, the streaking through the mosque. Oh, come on now, that was funny. He's just a risky person to be around. Yeah, well, he's a good mate of mine and I like him. And I'm not a kid anymore, so don't worry. I'll be back about two. Two? Two a.m.? He's 17. It's like 28 in old money. You should have said something. Like what? Have you seen the size of him? We just have to accept that we are powerless onlookers. We're just... And the Irishman's wife said... But... Oh, my God, she's telling jokes now. I've never known her get a joke, let alone tell one. <laughs> Mum, Mum, do you think maybe you should you know, ease off the mulled wine? Yes, it is a bit sickly. I think I'll move on to something alcoholic. No, mulled wine is alcoholic. It's, it's wine. That's why it's called wine. Ooh, what's that smell? It's the smell of fear. If I was health secretary, I'd simply say, none of you can have new livers because you're alcoholics. Yeah. Case closed. Clunk, click. Thank you very much. Oh, but alcoholism is such a sad illness. My boyfriend, uh, the one before last, he had a drink problem. Did you know he had a drink problem when you started going out with him? No. Oh, he didn't have it when I started going out with him. I mean, fundamentally, in my opinion, all forms of an addiction have an emotional root. But it's OK. False alarm. 
Uh, yeah, it's an emotional route that can only... Alright everyone, some games. Alright, uh, before we start, is anyone allergic to nuts, lactose or lizards? Uh, uh -uh. You've got to be sociable if you want to eat the party foods. I was, for three minutes. Yeah, actually, can you not argue with Jane about astrology, cos it's not a fair fight? Come on, don't be sociable, just to please your mummy. You pay me to be sociable. Pay you? Yeah, cos I was reading that parenting book you have, and um, the... the difficult in-between years. It says you need to institute rewards and... as well as penalties. It says that if you don't, we could be held back by a template of negativity. It's in chapter one. Yeah, well, I, I haven't read it. You haven't read it? Uh, your mum got it after, the, you know, Ben's making inappropriate remarks during King Lear incident. So when, when he puts the cloth over, she has to remember all 20 items. I know, Norris. OK, ready, Gran? And go. There's a tray. No, you can't have the tray. Well, why well, there's just stuff there? on the tray. The tray doesn't count. Uh, uh, th there's a cloth? No. You can't have the cloth either. You can see the cloth. How how are you supposed to raise me when you haven't done the reading? We just do it instinctively. My mum and dad didn't have parenting books. Exactly. You say that you do it instinctively. But, I mean, would you want a doctor to remove your appendix instinctively? No, of course and you wouldn't. They have to study for... Ten years well, you, you, to you... become like a really good doctor. Yeah, not... You can't even put in ten minutes of reading. No, that's enough of this. You should be in there. Text me if so... you want me. Scissors. No, that doesn't count because he said it. That doesn't count. <laughs> no, no, you've got to play the game properly. <laughs> You're right, Pete. Still fitting well. For the moment. Maybe I should be going around ringing a bell and shouting leper. <laughs> I'm not sure we've got a bell. You think you should be eating? I think food might settle my stomach down. Are you sure the best thing is trifle? Times like this, I think you just have to listen to your body. I think we're all going to end up listening to your body. <laughs> See? Everything's getting on really well. Yeah, well, <coughs> Norris's wife and the woman who lives next door. Um, Tatiana. Tatiana. They seem to be getting on very well. What do you say? Well, Tatiana passed. Uh, Mary. Mary. In the hall. And she sort of touched her. Touched her? Yeah. Put her hand on her buttock. What? Like a group? No, not. not full-on grope, but it was definitely more fondle than pat. There was... squeezage. Squeezage? Yeah, you know. Oi! Oh, gone a bit early there, Pete. I should wait till later when she's drunk. Oh, but to get a consent in writing, you know what it's like these days. All right, guys, who's next for Kim's game? Oh, welcome, Lauren from Cincinnati. Or as I call you, Fresh meat. How about you? <laughs> Look at your mom enjoying herself. I'm not watching a cat. Oh. Come on, Ray. If only we thought of alcohol before, you know, like about 30 years ago. She's hugging everyone. Apart from me, obviously. All right, Ray, you ready? Well, I'm supposed to avoid situations involving uh, pressure. Oh, Rubber. Don't like the look of Jane. Um, uh, She's a Vesuvius full of trifle, uh, and we're Pompeii. Uh, right, right, a spoon, a teaspoon. Teaspoon. Um, uh, ruler, a small ruler, like a child's ruler. Three, two, two black. One. There's black. There's... Time up. No! Put it back! Put it back! The game back. is over. There's a, a purple ball I and a silver ball. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like watching. Oh. It's, it's like watching two women trying to park at the same time. <laughs> it must have taken 15 minutes. Time to go home soon. So watching two penguins fighting over a fish. See, this would make a great Paralympic event because people with no arms would be really, really good at it. They'd be able to go against like unParalympians. 
bit silly as an Olympic event. Well, it wouldn't be as silly as that one where the old guys make horses do line dancing. What's that called again? Dressage. Oh. Anyway, <laughs> there wouldn't be any rubbish events in my Olympics. You're holding an Olympics? Yeah, later. And don't worry, we won't be doing Ruto rugby because we tried it at school with like shopping trolleys and it really was quite dangerous. You tried it with... Oh. At last! <laughs> what? <laughs> See, Mary, it's not rocket science, is it? Come on, Norris. Come on, Norris. <laughs> See you with me now. Uh, does anybody need it? Uh, no filler. Oh. Uh, Ray, you're up. Sorry, uh, I don't feel comfortable having fruit under my chin. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it's you then, Pete. <laughs> Did you know you were in a brilliant clip on YouTube? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's the one where me and the other weatherman sang uh, Singing in the Rain for Children in Need. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was great. No. No, you're doing a weather forecast. You're talking about blizzards. You get in a tangle when saying the words cold front. Instead of saying cold front, you say frog. Yeah, we know what you said. That's. Have anyone seen Mary and Tatiana? Those two always disappearing somewhere. How many people have seen this clip? Oh, don't worry, Ray. It'll, it won't be many. Five million six hundred thousand? It's gone viral. There's my finger. Hey, um, everybody, um, I just, I just wanted to say. Oh, oh dear. Um, just wanted to say. Oh dear. Um, <laughs> just wanted to say. <laughs> OK, I'm just telling you that the homemade sausage rolls are ready, so enjoy. You, um, you OK, Jane? Well, you were right about the trifle, Pete. Dad, you need to check our vomit. Thanks, Ben. That's very... If there's blood, that's bad. Ben, go downstairs and stay downstairs. Ben? Ben? Ben, come back. Ben, the, the sign should have been on this side of the door. Can I ask your advice about something? Yes, dear, of course. Well, say you had a king high showing. Did you ever bluff against a pair of threes? What? He told me he was a Mormon, but it turned out he was just a bigger mess. Hello, we're locked in here. Sue is so lucky to have found you. Someone who's decent, solid, doesn't want to establish a global caliphate. So, uh, what is the latest on Omar? Oh, Pete. I don't really want to talk about it. All right. Turns out he had a wife in Jordan. Hello! Anybody there? Because you used to do that poker online, didn't you, when you had your addiction? Well, that was really social. You haven't seen my wife and Tatiana, have you? Uh, no. Sorry, no. Mm. Oh, Mary and Tatiana gay? Oh, I think so, dear. So, would you fold or bluff? Well, I'd fold. You'd fold. But you weren't very good, though, were you? And you did lose a lot of money. <laughs> I suppose I should have wondered about the missing hand. But he said he lost it in a guacamole blending accident. Hello! Oh, if only I'd got my mobile. Mobile? I've got mine. Oh, no battery left. Isn't that just like me? Well, I suppose we're all like ourselves, or we'd be someone else. I wish I was someone else. Do you think I can change? Jane, I'm sure you can. I met this guy who said I could change. Do you know much about Scientology? Hello! Please! Uh-oh. All right there, Ray? Yeah, yeah. This is my uh, first uh, social outing since my episode. This is one of my coping strategies. I'm ironizing. I still have a bit of a problem sometimes with the reckless behavior issues. Uh. And so I got banned from the bell ringing group. Hiya, Mum. Jake! Uh, I hope it's all right. I just bought some mates back. No, that's really nice. 
I, I thought you'd be out, you know, at one of those places you go to. Yeah, well, you know, Mum's having a party. We're not going to beat that, especially with all the free booze. Well, thank you for the vote of confidence. You were all out of breath. Out of breath? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, we're a bit out of breath because uh, we, we raced all the way back, didn't we? Yeah. For, 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 the, for the free booze. Hello? Why are you shouting hello? Karen, I need help. Mm, you should shout help. Open the bloody door now. OK, OK. Keep calm. It probably says that in that parenting book that you couldn't be bothered to read. Oh, Peter, you dirty dog. Jane's been ill, Don't worry, won't tell Sue. All right, Norris. You OK to walk, Jane? <laughs> you haven't seen uh, Mary and Tatiana, have you? They're probably off... elsewhere. Oh, yeah. doing those things that women do. Yeah, probably a lot of doing that. <laughs> so lovely to see you all. Tom, I'm not with you? Oh, Tom, I know. He had to, uh, uh, he pulled a muscle. Oh, what, in the race? The race. The race you had to get the free booze? Oh, yeah, that race, yeah. Uh, no, actually, it was, it was earlier when we were stretching. Oh, well, never mind. Listen, boys, the snacks are nearly all gone, but I can make you some sandwiches. So you're Karen, then. Can I have a look? Haven't you ever seen a kid's room before? Me and my husband don't have kids. Well, I don't blame you. I'm not going to. They're a nightmare. Well, no, I wanted them, but my husband didn't. So how did you decide who got to decide? Because that's too serious for, like, rock, paper, scissors. Well, I suppose he just said no. Well, you must love him a lot, then. Otherwise, you'd have have left him for someone a lot nicer by now. Well, I suppose... Sorry, I'm then... trying to concentrate. Oh, my God. We're trying to kidnap a kid. Again. Right, oh. time to show our cards, I think. So when you promised to make sure I didn't get trapped with Jane, uh, that didn't include being locked in the bathroom as she projected trifle from every orifice. Oh, she was sick again. No, she wasn't just sick, Sue. Oh, she was... Yes. So you've changed, then? Yes. I've changed. Are you suppressing a giggle? Because this isn't funny. No, you see, this really isn't funny. <laughs> My mother's playing swing ball. Yeah, it's round three of Ben's Paralympic heptathlon. They're only allowed to use one arm and one leg. Isn't that dangerous? You should have seen the blind archery. Eh? Hey? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jake's back. Yeah, he came back with a group of his mates, decided to party with us. So he came back of his own free will? Yeah, it's great, isn't it? it sort of completes the communityness. <laughs> it's like old times, isn't it? House full of Jake and his mates. So they just came back of their own free will? You stop saying that. You OK, Ray? Yeah. This is another one of my coping strategies. Karen, I really need you to come down and be sociable. What are you doing up here anyway? Online poker. Poker? You're ten! They don't know that. D hang on a minute. It's not gambling because I got an email saying I get a free £20 bet if I register. It is gambling. And what are they doing? Well, so they sent you, you it. But I knew you wouldn't use it, so it's OK. It is not OK to impersonate me online and illegally play poker against strangers. I knew you'd say that. Karen. Anyway, it's not even poker, it's Texas Hold'em. Texas... How do you know all this? Because we play poker at school. At school? For matchsticks. Well, matchsticks, at least you're not playing for... Yes, and every matchstick's worth 10p. Ben, this is getting a bit... I know, we're only playing with one arm now, because when we were playing with only one leg, Grant kept falling over. Yeah, well, maybe it's time to move oh, on to something. Oh, loosen up, tight pants. Chilly, Mum, that's not one of oh. Kids are don't... not allowed to gamble, and that is that. But Monopoly is gambling. You have a dice It's not the and... same thing at all. You don't use real money when you play Monopoly, do you? Well, actually, at school, we do. I don't want to know any more. I'm going to email that poker online company and I'm going to tell them what you've been doing illegally and get them to cancel out everything that's happened this okay. evening. OK. You were £183 up. Well, just make sure you don't do it again. 
Am I right? So that's a yes. Between you and me, Graham was getting a bit overexcited and it was getting kind of unsafe. Sorry, did you just say the word unsafe? All right, Jane. Huh? She's feeling much better. It's a medium fan. It's a cabinet. She took some emodium she found in your cabinet. We don't have any emodium. We've just got Rennies and some of those, you know, really strong painkillers for when I did my back in. Jane? What, what colour were the pills you took? <clears throat> pills. Nope, didn't get that one. Your mum's playing swing ball with Ray now. Actually, OK, look, we've got a bit of a situation here. Jane has taken some pills. I feel weller than porpoises. She feels weller than porpoises. OK, Ben, got that one. Jane, how many pills did you take? Oh, Jane. Jane? Jane? Mm. Oh, are you thinking casualty? Mm. Yes. Are you sober enough to drive? God, no, you. Mm. Nowhere near. Well, there must be someone who can take her. <laughs> we'll call an ambulance. Right, I'm on it. Oh, look out, here comes trouble and strife and strife and trouble. Where have you been? F found somewhere to go shopping. Norris, me and Tatiana are lovers. And I'm leaving you. <laughs> you, you girls, you really crack me up. I've been trying to pluck up the courage, but tonight the little girl made my mind up. Can't keep pace, eh? Lightweights. <laughs> You're leaving me. Well, what are you going to come up with next? Lawyers. Bang. A lang a ding dong. And remember for once, don't put the chain across the front door. <laughs> Does he realise? No. Ambulance is on its way. Busy night, apparently, because an office party's broken into the zoo. How's Jane, Pete? Pete? Shouldn't I stop her? You could try. Oh, that was impressively fast. I suppose a bucket of water's out of the question. Good evening. Good evening. Does a Jake Brockman live here? Uh, yes. Is there a problem? Is that? Sexual harassment. Borderline. Oh, Bran. Look, Ben, you talk to Jane. Make sure she stays awake, OK? There is a policeman here to speak to you. Oh, bollocks. Would you care to expand on that? Yeah, well, you see, there was this incident. Uh, Tomo turned up with an old bag of fireworks and he thought it'd be a laugh if we let off this rocket. Only he kind of crashed it into the doors of a church. Did anyone see this? Uh, well, yeah. The people walking out the carol service saw it. What? Look, it's OK. No one got hurt. I mean, the donkey panicked a bit. But donkey? It's OK. He didn't have Mary on his back. Although it did run off and knock over one of the three wise men. But, I mean, he was fine as well. Still looking for him, officer. Wait me a second. Keep wait, Jane. Just making some strong coffee. What's 305 times 28, Jane? I think she'd find that quite hard, even if she hadn't taken the pills. I don't have to explain to him it wasn't you. Tell him it was Tomo. No, Mum, I can't do that. That'll drop Tomo right in it and his parents will kick him out again. But that's not... Look, Mum, I am not ratting on Tomo. He's a mate. Got to keep her awake, Ben. What's your biggest fear? Think of your biggest fear. Think of, like, a Count Dracula gorilla eating, like, a werewolf monkey or something. Frankenstein, but he's a frog. Think you're being chased by owls. No one likes owls. Don't get bogged down on the owls, Ben. What's the capital of Serbia? Owls. You say you didn't see how the rocket was fired at the church? Uh, no, I was, um, texting. Jake realises how serious this is. Sorry, I've got to go. The, uh, boundary issues have resurfaced. Jake realises the seriousness of this incident, but <sighs> nobody got hurt, Why do so... you say that? The rocket started a fire in the vestry. Two people have been rushed to hospital. I didn't see there was a fire. You didn't wait to find out, did you? I had no idea that that had happened. No. Well, it's because it didn't. But it could have done very easily, eh? Well, absolutely, yes. Are policemen allowed to make stuff up like that? Yes, madam. One of the few perks left. 
That and telling cabinet ministers they can't take their bikes through gates. You know, Thomas Thompson. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure he didn't fire the rocket. That's what he said when I took his statement. Right. He said you did it. He did it. Well, who am I to believe? My son, because the other boy's a lying pillock. Lying pillock? Stay away, Jane. Jane, look out, there's a bear behind you. Bear! <laughs> What's the capital of Iceland? Please, International. Come on, I'm coming. Oh, how can so few people make such a bloody mess? Before you say anything, I'm very, very sorry you had to go in the ambulance with Jane. I was delayed with yeah, Jane. Yeah, yeah, OK. How did it go anyway? Did she have to have her stomach pumped? No, she did that herself, en route. Quite a lot. Right. You've changed again. Yes, I have. Well, that was a lovely party. And now, amigos, I must hit the road. I think you'd best stay the night, Sandra. Susan, I can perfectly capably drive myself home. Well, no, you can't. And why not? Because you didn't come in your car. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, my lovely big boy. <laughs> I'm very proud of you. Have I ever told you that? No, Mum. Oh. Nighty night. Oh, sod it. Red wine stain. I'll get some salt. 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 You know what I miss? Proper tall policemen. Red telephone boxes. Stamps. They just had the... Just had the sodding queen on them. Sparrows. Do you think Norris realises what's happened? I think a small part of him does. The part that isn't a prat. I could walk him home. Oh, no. If he hasn't got in half an hour, I'll send Karen in to talk to him. My party broke up his marriage. That marriage was doomed from, well, the moment that it involved Norris. You were right. This party was a stupid idea. Do you know, in a weird way, I quite enjoyed it. Honestly? You're right, it was fun to meet the neighbours. It was like a freak show. Exactly. Hugely entertaining. My mother told me that she was proud of me. That is a lifelong first. I got a ride in an ambulance. We jumped six red lights. It was brilliant. Yeah, Mum, the party was a right laugh. Oh, nice try, boy, but I know what you're doing. You're, you're saying all this stuff just to make me feel better. Of course not. Why would we do that? Listen. I'm David Beckham. We got to play some cool party games, didn't we? Yeah, the games were good, Ben. You did a good job. Actually, there was one game we never got around to playing. We could play it now. It's blind football. <laughs> no Merry Christmas to you too. What the? Kicking that way. And on my command, <laughs> play! Uh, have you thrown the ball in? Oh, no, sorry, here you go. <laughs> Who's this? I found it, I found it. <laughs> Which way am I facing? There. Hang on, what was that? I'm it. There it was. There it was. Strictly <laughs> speaking, we should each have a dog. Oh, no, it's here. Where is it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. It's in the air! Well, it's here, it's here, it's over here somewhere. <laughs> Has this been health and safety risk assessed? 